This is Hello Glass with another Glass Artist interview. What is your name and are you a glass artist? Ty Watts, yes, and I'm a glass artist. How long have you been making glass and do you consider yourself a master? Uh, six years and now I consider myself a master. Uh, I've done bench work for the past six years. I've been learning lathe work for mainly, let's see, like six months from Donk Luster. Mm -hmm. Cool. How long have you been making glass? Oh, sorry. Your favorite style or type of glass to create with? I uh, really like line pattern work. That's basically all I do right now. I'm starting to do basket weaves and certain things like that, but mainly it's just line pattern work, wags and reversals and things like that, bitch windows, hmm. double layers. What state do you call home for your glass shop? Uh, right now I'm staying in Virginia working for Redemption under Fat Mike. So. That's where I call home. Do you own or work under a glass brand or an art name? I, I work under Redemption Glass. Yeah. Do you have a personal art name or just under your own name? Um, Ty Watts Glass, or some people call me Chwatsi. Cool. Uh, you make your living solely off glass? Yes. If you could make glass with anyone living, who would that be? Uh, probably people I've looked up to from the beginning, like... Jason Lee, Cowboy, shit dude, there's a lot of people, but yeah, those two are big, you know, people that inspired me, Freaking has always inspired me, uh, yeah, there's just, there's so many, it's hard to really name. What style or technique in glass is hardest for you? Right now, it's probably getting the basket weaves down, I just started that, um, trying to get into like filler work and filler cellos and stuff like that. That would probably be something pretty hard, but yeah. Name two people that taught or influenced your glass skills. Mm, the two people that taught me were Mike and TJ Kennedy out of Pofftown, North Carolina. They run public scientific glass. They do scientific work and they taught me mainly just, you know, how to work glass and how to work with clear because they also can work with clear and then they kind of referred me to somebody else to learn from, but, you know, two mm -hmm. people that's always influenced my glass, like I said, Lebo and Cowboy. Is there any style or technique in glass that you would or will learn in the future? Probably get my, my weaves down more and reticellos and filicellos. Name two glass artists that impress you. Shit. Yushin, Nady Binsky. What style or te uh, technique in glass amazed you when you first saw it? Oh man, Jason Lee, Cowboy, Chris Carlson, uh, Slinger, basically all the people that were doing That Ain't Art, Elks That Run, AKM, all those guys. Worst injury you ever got making glass art? Uh, I burned my thumb, like from here to here. It had a huge blister I had to pop open, then I had to go in and cut out with a knife all the nasty infected stuff so my hand wouldn't get infected so it healed quicker so I could work because I've always kind of lived off my glass blowing. So. What do you wish to accomplish in the glass industry? Hmm. It's a hard question to answer. Maybe, you know, just collab with a bunch of people, a bunch of people learn from each other and work together and just everybody be happy and have fun with it. You know, make a living, of course, but, you know, everybody enjoy it, you know, for fun yeah. and just have fun doing it. That's all it is. How does a glass fan get a hold of you or get to buy your work? Uh, usually through shops. Uh, I get hit up through Instagram a lot and Facebook. What's your Instagram? Uh, Ty Watts Glass. Spell that? T-Y-W-A-T-T-S-G-L-A-S-S. -S. No uh, spaces in between any of that. Facebook? No, that's Instagram. Do you have a Facebook page? Uh, yes, it's just Ty Watts. Perfect. You've got three minutes to tell the world whatever you want. Go for it. Basically, just have fun with whatever you do, whatever type of art you want to create, whatever media, you know, was woodworking, clay work, pottery, glass blowing, metal work, you know, just enjoy life. It's better than sitting in a 
cubicle all day, you know? Enjoy what you do. Great. This is Hello Glass with another Glass Artist interview. Thank you so much for your time.